Hey everyone, I'm Richard. And I'm Andy. And this is our 6205 final project, Feline Programmable Gate Array. So what you're seeing in front of you is a robot that has an FPGA on top and also a microphone array. And what it's going to hopefully do is it's going to be able to detect that I'm its owner and not Andy, and then it's going to be able to actually locate me and come towards me. So I'll go ahead and turn on voice recognition now. And immediately, come. Come to Andy, come. So it's me. Use a little bit, but not that much. But hopefully when I go, hey, kitty, 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 come on, kitty, 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 no, 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 come on, kitty, yeah, kitty, yeah, kitty, yeah, kitty, who's the good kitty, who's the good kitty, who's the good kitty, who's the good kitty, come on, kitty, come on, kitty, hey, 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 kitty, come on, who's the worst kitty, yeah, kitty, yeah, kitty, yeah, kitty, yeah, kitty, come on, kitty, come on, kitty, who's the good kitty, who's the good kitty, come on, kitty, come on, kitty, who's the good kitty, who's the good kitty, kitty, who's the good kitty, come on, kitty, come on, kitty, who's the good kitty, who's the good kitty, come on, kitty, come on, kitty, who's the good kitty, who's the good kitty, come on, 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 kitty. Come on, kitty. Come on, kitty. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Who's the kitty? Who's the kitty? Who's the kitty? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Who's the best kitty? Who's the best kitty? Yeah, you are a good kitty. It successfully came to me. Pretty cool, right? So the first step in the system is sound localization. So how we've implemented this is that we have three, uh, four different microphones: one central microphone and three peripheral microphones. And what happens is is that all these microphones sample at the same time. And then we can find the phase differences between each of the microphones relative to the center microphone to estimate a delay between when one microphone hears a sound and another one hears a sound. Based on that delay, we can scale these location vectors such that we have different amounts, different lengths for each one of them. And then when we sum the different location vectors, we get a corresponding direction vector which points towards where the sound event actually came from. So the results from sound localization tell us which bin the sound source comes from. In our actual system, we have 16 different bins or directions that the sound comes from, but to simplify, we'll just take eight. What happens is, is that we find the direction that has the largest noise, and we assume that this is where the person is talking from. So for instance, this is bin number one, and if this is the largest magnitude, then we'd expect the sound source to be coming from over here. Based on which bin we detect the sensors in, we can tell the car, the robot, to move towards that. So for instance, if we detect that the majority sound comes from bin one, then we can activate the left-hand wheel, which will move the robot to point towards there and then drive towards the person. The next major component of our project was voice biometrics. So at a high level, here's how it works. First, the FPGA would grab the audio data and compute some feature vectors from it for the machine learning model. And so in this project, we used malfrequency capstrom coefficients, which are a standard set of features used in voice machine learning applications. After computing those coefficients, the FPGA would then stream them over to an external laptop over Bluetooth. And so the reason why we do this is so the external computer can do the model training. We only need to do the model training once, and it's very hard to implement it on an FPGA, which is why we offload it to an external laptop. So after the laptop has trained the model, it then streams the model parameters back to the FPGA over Bluetooth. So this allows us to do fully wireless communication between the FPGA and the laptop. And so in this project, the machine learning model we chose was the one class support vector machine, because A, it is able to train on only positive data, which is the only data we have, and B, it's very parallelizable and straightforward to implement on an FPGA. And that's our final project. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.